I actually just kind of put my head down between my knees <laughs> when I was sitting on the bench and just said, of course, why not? Hello again everybody, Don Stevens with you here from Delta Downs in Vint, Louisiana with another Delta Downs update. Well, we had an incredible race this Tuesday during a special afternoon program in the second race of the day. A horse named Five Star Nap stumbled out of the gate. Jockey Gerard Melanson was almost unseated and then he went on to do something I've never seen in racing before. I caught up to Gerard and talked to him about the race as well as trainer Chris Richard, so let's take a listen. She's always a little nervous once she gets in the gates, and uh, yesterday she was standing perfect, and uh, she started right right before he hit the button. I could feel her yeah. getting real uneasy, and, and as, as soon as he pushed the button, she kind of just went, threw her head up, and uh, got me off balance pretty good. And, so you lost both irons right then and there, and what's going through your mind at that point? Well, well getting my feet back in the stirrups, you know, so... Uh, I, <clears throat> There's nothing you can do after that, you know, just uh, try to get your feet back in and try to make something of the race. I looked up when she come by the wire the first time and, you know, she was still kind of throwing her head up in the air and she was just, she, she's a difficult filly. She's manageable, but she can be difficult at times. And yesterday was one of her difficult days, as they like to say, a bad hair day. She was having a bad hair day. and. You were able to get the right one in, right? Yeah, I got the right one in. It took me a little while to get the right one in. Once I got the right one in, the left one came in pretty easy because you could stand up on your right leg, you know. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> once I got it in before I turned up the backside, and I, I got comfortable and uh, found me a good spot. I mean, I'm dead last, so I just got close to the rail and tried yeah. to save ground and uh, try to make something happen. So I was watching her down the back stretch, and I said, well, you know they are they are doing a, a solid pace up front. She she might be able to pick up some of the pieces and hit the board. Yeah. I was really surprised to to see her get up and win the race after overcoming that type of adversity. But I think Gerard deserves the, the great majority of the credit. He he just did a tremendous job with yeah. her. And when he when he came back, what did he have to say to you about the trip? We just kind of laughed about it. He goes, <laughs> just like we drew it up. <laughs> have you ever it seen a horse do anything like that before? I mean, come back and win Not after come that. Come back difficulty. and win. I've yeah. seen them come back and finish the race. A lot of the times, you know, the, the jocks aren't able to get their their feet back in the irons, and they end up just pulling them up. Right. But because he was able to get it done within the first eighth of a mile, and you know, if it had been a five furlong race, yeah. he obviously probably would have just pulled her up. Right. There wouldn't have been enough time to right. even accomplish anything. So, uh, again, that was just a tremendous effort on his part. Now, have you ever in your career? Done that. Lost both irons and won a race. No. No. <laughs> no. It's the first time in 33 years. What an incredible story as Gerard Melanson recovers and goes on to win a race I never thought he had a chance to do back on Tuesday here at the racetrack. Well, if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you along for the ride. And until next time, I'm Horseman Don. We'll see you back here on the Horseman Don channel.